Bye, Chai. Chinese, Chinese New Year is coming up. I want to wish you all a very happy Chinese New Year. A great fortune, a lot of love, a lot of gathering with your family. At the end of the day, that's all about a group of family, straightforward, and wish for the best. Happy Chinese New Year. Ma Chong Yao Go, Ho KC. The first question is summer or winter? <laughs> Rather summer. Summer. Second one, uh, Sha Tin Waste Call or Happy Wally Waste Call? Sha Tin, no Sha doubt. <laughs> the third one is able friend or Morris? Ah, uh, able friend. He's got a place in my heart. Okay. Uh, the next one is turf or dirt? Turf, no doubt. Uh, the next one is uh, your writing style. You like uh, clockwise or straight? Anti clockwise, to be honest. <laughs> okay. okay. And for the sixth one, the front runner or the back marker? Um, back marker. Back marker, okay. And the seventh one, forehand whip or backhand whip? Forehand whip. Forehand whip. And the next one, eight wins per day or derby winner? Derby winner. And the next one, favorite or underdog? Underdogs. Okay. The last one, green or experience? Green. Okay. That's all for this part. <laughs> Thank, okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. 大家好,欢迎收看游客到啊。今天我们就很荣幸地邀请到香港冠军骑师莫雷拉来跟我们接受访问。Hello,John. Hi, how are you? 我们就想了解一下莫雷拉的一些日常生活,怎么吃,分享一下自己个人的背景,在香港或者以前在其他地方拍摄的一些生活历程。Zhao, uh, uh, I was wondering, that, do you have a driving license in Hong Kong? Of course I do. I, I drive around, so I need to have it. Without it, you can't drive. <laughs> 莫雷拉就说他一直都有车牌在香港,就方便他出入,所以就都会考一下车牌的。So, would you often take public transport also? Yeah, I often take, um, I don't mind. In particular, NTR, which is pretty helpful, it's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I haven't took a bus yet, but I, I don't think I would mind to take. I just didn't come to a situation where I need it, but MTR, I've been to the trains and it's, it's been pretty good. So sometimes our audience or our, our viewers will see you in the MTR. <laughs> Sometimes they do see me and they recognize, but everyone else here in Hong Kong has been very respectful. Uh, so, so you also have an octopus car? Of course I do. <laughs> octopus car to be able to travel around. But if you take uh, public transport, will those fans come to you and ask for a signature or photos? Yeah. Sometimes they do, but um, as I said, they're all very respectful. So mm. yeah, I'm okay with that. Mm. Come on. 雷神呢,他就说呢,他有时搭地铁呢,都会搭嘅,咁亦都会有时见到啲好热情嘅马迷啦,又问佢索求签名啊,或者合照嘅,咁雷神当然就好有钱啦,亦都系会同佢接受
。嗯，哇，雷神咧，佢都話佢當然知道佢有個雷神呢個稱號啦，但係佢就唔係好明白啊，點解大家會叫佢做雷神？咁都係因為佢個中文名咧就攞咗佢中間個雷字咧，咁就做佢呢個綽號啦。咁佢都話有啲小朋友咧，其實都好中意即係咁樣叫佢嘅，咁令佢覺得啊，其實如果用呢個方法去推廣賽馬咧，佢都覺得係一個好好嘅事嚟，咁佢都好。誒接受呢個咁正面嘅稱號嘅。So,、uh, what do you usually do in your spare time? Will you、uh, hang out with your families or any fun,、uh, function you would like to do? There is a lot of things that I do. My my life is full on. <laughs>、um, obviously, we have to do track work every day, early、mm-hmm. in the morning, very early, and we also have two days in a week that we have to spend basically the whole day working. And those five days, I would say, we have the afternoons free.、Mm-hmm. But even when I say afternoons free, I would have to do my homework、uh-huh. either before or after I do whatever what I want during those five days, which is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday.、Mm-hmm. What I usually do is when I go out with my family, either I go to the cinema or I, we get we get together with some friends that we had in Hong Kong. There is a very big、uh, Brazilian community here,、uh-huh. and we got a lot of friends that is from Brazil here in, in the same situation as a foreigner, as as you call us, as a quilo, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mind that. And、uh, yeah, obviously I do also some a little bit of sport. I'm a big fan of、uh, football. football. Yeah, and we、um, all know that. <laughs> I quite often do some sport, do some exercise myself, play with my kids. Sometimes I take my son to his own sport. He does riding less and also football,、uh-huh. and that's it. So,、uh, any way to relieve your pressure? Because you know, uh, this uh, uh, being a jockey is a is a career that is very high pressure. What's your way to relieve your pressure? First thing that I do is not to read any news <laughs> about <laughs> horse racing. Okay.、Oh, everything that I, I read is.、Uh, I try to target those positive things because、mm. um, when you let the media get on your mind, sometimes they can drive you crazy. And I, <laughs> I find my my way to block that thing or not reading the too much the news.、Um, but obviously, what is related to horse racing, what's coming up, and what is related to to my career, obviously, I'm trying to be aware of. Just try not to be sticking with those people that. Writes bad things about、mm-hmm. horse racing.、Um, yeah, but、uh, to release my my pressure, I just try to do my activities outside. Like, as I said, I love I love I like soccer very much. I often go to football stadiums and、I、get together with my friends and family. So those things get myself my mind off、mm-hmm. horse racing for a bit. That's enough for me to to release the pressure. And at the end of the day. The pressure that you're talking about—it's、uh-huh. a kind of a motivation for me.、Uh-huh. I I use it as okay. If they criticize me for some reason, obviously there is reason behind it. I try to work around it to turn it to be as good as it used to be or even better. 咁啊，雷神就話啦，佢平時咧都會同啲誒屋企人啊，即係睇下戲啊，或者同佢啲好朋友一齊去踢波咁，就緩解佢嘅壓力嘅。咁佢就唔會點睇香港嗰啲誒賽馬嘅誒、呃、媒體嘅，因為佢覺得好多時候咧誒、呃、會令到自己嘅心情啊，或者嗰個心頭有少少誒、呃、難調整嘅，所以佢都盡量去唔睇啊，令自己啊感覺得好啲。咁但係佢話，如果佢接受批評嘅時候咧，佢都會盡力誒、呃、改善啊，令自己變得更好嘅。咁所以就成就咗雷神咁誒、呃、好嘅騎師啦。So、uh, you you mentioned that you have many、uh, Brazilian friend friends in Hong Kong.、Uh, most of them are footballers. Is that correct?、Uh, I wouldn't say most of them, but there is a lot of them that play football professionally here, and there is a lot of nice people that is involved into this different sport. And it's very nice to get together with them because they they can provide me different in- information, different stories.、Um, they entertain my mind and my myself with different. Different things, which is, it's pretty good, as you asked me before.、Uh, that's a very good way to get my my mind off horse racing for a bit, to release the pressure that I I've been input in the last fifteen, <coughs> seventeen years of my life because I, that's how long I've been going to horse racing. So if I said、uh, they helped you a lot when you come to,、uh, come to Hong Kong, is that is that true? I, definitely, they helped me out, and、uh, I presume friendship is always a positive thing. If you're able to make friends, 
through friends who wants nothing from you but just your friendship, I think that's a good thing. So what, what was the greatest challenge or difficulties when you just came to Hong Kong a few years ago? Uh, the first, the main one was to adapt to horse racing here, which is very different. As you would probably know, I got suspended quite often in my very first season. That cost me the premiership. But um, yeah, we definitely learned from that. We turned it around. The following couple of seasons, I was able to get less suspensions, and that pays off in a very positive way. So yeah, that's the main challenge that I had to face. And obviously, here in Hong Kong, we race clockwise, which is extremely the difference extremely different than what it is back in Singapore where I came mm -hmm. from and in Brazil which they race anti-clockwise yeah. and then I thought I wasn't going to be able to make make it happen but fortunately I was giving good enough opportunities to get myself adapted and get going well because you're good because <laughs> I, I, I've been lucky enough to get on top of good, good enough horses. <笑>像雷神在我看到剛剛你是在當年都遇到不少的挑戰 so, uh, which jockey has the best uh, friendship with you? I would say Kerry Steeton is, is the jockey who has been the nicest to me. But I mm -hmm. think overall everybody else has been very respectful and I do respect them all. But friendship wise I would say Kerry Steeton has been the one who's been more closer to me. Mm -hmm. We're not the very best friend but he's been very nice mm -hmm. and I would put him as my, my greatest colleague at, at, at a horse racing. 女神也提到田泰安就是他的好朋友 tell us about your diet uh, we, we all know that you need to control your weight before the races So uh, is it very hard to control your weight? It is very hard <laughs> It's very hard. That's the most, the biggest challenge that jockeys have to face in their life. Because uh, being putting your weight down every week, it's quite challenging. Not everyone else can do it, and a lot of them has been beaten by the skills. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I haven't been. I'm not one of them. Um, my diet is is related to everything. I eat everything in small portions, mm -hmm. and when it comes closer to the race day, let's say if we're racing on. Sunday, let's say. Mm -hmm. On Saturday night, I don't have dinner, mm -hmm. and I don't have breakfast on Monday, on Sunday morning. And I also get in the bath to sweat to lose at least three pounds nearly every race meeting wow. to put my body weight down uh -huh. to my minimal riding weight, which is one one five. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's been quite challenging, tough on my body, but um, it's doable and it's been it's it's been worth. So I've been been doing it without hesitating because it's it's worth work hard on that because it's quite demanding for us I believe but do you like uh, delicious food of course I love my <laughs> meal I, I, when I sit on the table I want to eat everything and as much as I can but it's it, jockey's life is different mm. but uh, you yourself to have enough energy to be able to deliver a good form at the races you need to input enough energy so I eat everything in smaller portions, different colors, variety of mm -hmm. colors actually to be honest. And when it comes to the race day, even if I'm wasting, as I said to you, wasting three to four pounds every, every race meeting, I feel strong enough. Mm -hmm. Actually I feel better when I'm, I waste a little bit, when I waste a lot, I feel bad, mm -hmm. but when I feel I waste just a little bit, maybe just half of what I usually waste, I feel fantastic. I, I think I ride at my very best. Mm -hmm. 雷神就说他做榜当年都很难
Have you ever faced any big challenges or some? How do you overcome uh, your failure in some uh, big races or big stages? Yeah, that's a very tricky question. <laughs> no doubt, we all have to face tough challenges. Mm -hmm. In particular, criticism of media and also horse race owners who are who express the insatisfaction for you to be. You ride off a horse that mm -hmm. could have won, let's say, and for, for you not being able to deliver your very best as a jockey, they blame you. So what I do is, I try not look back, I try to figure out what I've done wrong, respect people's opinion, and work hard to don't let it happen again. Because if you work around those mistakes you've done, that's how it should be. Mm -hmm. It's a way of learning, and we learn every day. Don't think that I'm being successful as a jockey that I, I don't do mistake. Mm -hmm. Nearly every race meeting, that is always a mistake that I, I've done, which I know. And most of the time, mm -hmm. I would say 99% of the time, people who is outside watching the race, they don't know. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we don't do any mistake intentionally. But I, I do work on them, and I try to correct. And when some, most of the time, we're able to turn it around and also make it better next time. But as we are human beings, no doubt that eventually we do mistakes again, mm -hmm. and then we have to face it all over again. So it's a continual uh, routine of a mistake made, be made, and try to um, correct them for the future to make sure uh, you keep on going smooth. So will you watch the bad, uh, the race we play after you make the mistake? Not just the race that I make mistake. I mm -hmm. watch every race like at least four times every every, every race meeting. Like the, our routine is, we go to the race, we ride, we come back. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not even having my meal yet. <laughs> I'm already watching the the race replacing, trying to figure out what I've done wrong and what I could do best next time, and also trying to to get the best horse that we can in the, for the future. Because uh, the system here is quite rush, mm -hmm. nothing for tomorrow. We have to, to do it today. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't do, somebody else will be doing today, and they'll get a step ahead of you. It's very. The competition is quite big here. I have to say that jockeys are very straightforward. They chase hard for those good horses, and if you even if you have a good reputation, if you sit and wait, you think it's not going to come to you. Mm -hmm. Before it gets to you somebody else jump on the way and get it for themselves, so you have to do your, your job. Mm. 其實就是說到了,有時候騙人的時候 so uh, you mentioned that uh, your kid uh, try to have a uh, jock uh, riding lessons. Mm. So do you want them to follow your footsteps to become a jockey? I would love to see my son riding and I would love to ride with him, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because Why do you say so? Because I don't think I'm going to ride up until he starts to ride, because mm -hmm. that's up until he gets to the age of start riding. Mm -hmm. Let's say he's nine now, and let's say if he start riding at 17, it's eight years, and I don't think I'll be riding for eight years more. Really? Why are you so sure? Because I'm having probably with my weight, mm -hmm. and I think before I get into the situation where I feel bad about horse racing, like I feel sore, or, or maybe I get a injury mm -hmm. or maybe my body weight goes up and I can't put it down anymore and I also personally I want to learn to do something else so mm -hmm. um, I think that's not gonna happen me riding with him but if he follows my steps that'll be a good thing and if he doesn't I'll be happy as long he goes for his dreams because mm -hmm. that's how it should be you have a dream go for it don't follow your parents dreams <laughs> yeah because if, if that was the case I should have I shouldn't be a jockey because my mom asked me not to follow horse racing. Uh -huh. mm.
咁啊，雷神提到啊，佢個仔仔咧而家亦都係有學緊騎馬嘅，咁佢都話誒幻想過同自己即係仔仔一齊同場教技嘅場面啦，咁但係佢話佢未必會，即係呢件事未必會發生啦，因為佢覺得誒到佢仔仔適合騎馬嘅時候咧，佢可能未必會再即係做到騎師啦，咁就所以就佢都覺得誒，只要仔仔開心啊就 OK 啦，唔一定話要跟住佢個步伐去做騎師嘅。So it's an interesting question. Do you know some foul language in Cantonese? I know a few words, yeah. usually the bad ones. Yeah, yeah. We, are, we are not trying to ask you to, <laughs> no, to, 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 to say. Because actually, uh, we're, as we discussed in this now, we, yeah. sometimes we do mistakes and they mm -hmm. crown the, at the horse racing course, mm -hmm. the fans, they can't stop themselves, they just tell it to us. And then sometimes we figure out they're swearing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to say that because I'm, I'm not going to stimulate people to swear because mm -hmm. I don't think it's a good thing. Yeah, but um, but no few words. Ngoi sai, jo san, go hei fa choi, these kind of things. Yeah, we pick it up. So do we have a plan to learn Cantonese properly? I try to be honest, but I don't think I'm good <laughs> enough. <laughs> Not in Cantonese. I, I, I struggle a little bit. It's a lovely language. Very challenging to learn. Yeah, I agree. I know there is people that is capable, but so far I haven't been, so. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the future I'll, I'll give it another try and then we'll see how it goes. Okay, other than Cantonese, how about Japanese? Because sometimes you go to Japan to for short-term license. So how about Japanese? Uh, Japanese, it's another language that I would love to learn, but it, it seems very hard for me <laughs> as well. Uh, we've got a very big uh, Japanese community in Brazil. So even before I make my international trips, mm -hmm. I, I heard a few words in Japanese back home. So yeah. Probably now I'm happy to just use English as you can help me out with that. Maybe in the future I'll give it another try in Cantonese. In, in Hong Kong it's easy for you to speak English, yeah. but if you know a little bit Cantonese, your life will be easier. Yeah, I presume so. But I, I'm okay so far. 雷神都話，即係誒廣東話嘅，即係一啲可能粗言穢語啊，佢有時都會喺啲沙圈啊，甚至跑完之後咧，都會聽到嘅。咁但係佢都唔會理太多啦，因為大家都知道運動員嗰個 EQ 咧一定好好高嘅，唔可以對啲字咧就太易俾佢哋刺激到。咁但係問到誒佢會唔會話去學廣東話咧？咁佢都想去學廣東話嘅，但係廣東話大家都知道係一個幾難學嘅語言啊，所以雷神都話可能都要誒，即係遲啲有再再多啲時間咧先去學啊。咁日文咧頭先都問到佢會唔會學日？日文啦，咁但係日文即係同即係同廣東話一樣，都係啲比較難學嘅語言啦。所以雷神都暫時未有呢、這個誒、呃，即係 plan 咧去學呢個日文嘅。So, uh, you try, uh, you mentioned that you will try to uh have other achievement in Hong Kong or in your life、uh, other than being a jockey. So we will try to write a book about yourself, or a book, like it's autobiography. A, it's a plan, but um, yeah, we still. Working on to see if we can get the right people to support us because mm -hmm. I would love to, and I've got a lot of good stories to tell. Mm -hmm. And that is a plan. I'm working on it, and if if, if I see it's it's doable, uh, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it happen. Because there are many publishers in Hong Kong, they would love to support you if you have this plan. Actually, I can say that I do have this plan. Mm -hmm. I'm working with a person that.、Um, Uh, is is also trying to find out if it's doable or not, and then if we get the right people to support us, I think it's going to happen in the, in the near future.、Mm, the, the story of Lu Shan like this <laughs> could be that way, or could be some other. But I, I'm not going to tell you the stories. I, I got a lot of nice stuff to tell. <laughs> 咁雷神都講到啊，即係出自傳咧，其實一直都喺佢嘅計劃當中嘅。咁佢都話，如果有誒書商啊、出版商啊，希望即係肯幫佢出嘅話咧，佢都希望有一本自己嘅自傳嘅。咁佢都話有好多誒好有趣嘅故事想同大家分享。咁到時如果真係有雷神嘅自傳咧，咁大家一定要支持下，即係買翻本嘅。So,、uh, what's your favorite football club in Hong Kong? As you said, you have many footballers. Uh, fo football friends in Hong Kong. I'm a big supporter of Kichi because oh, my Kichi. Son, yeah, Kichi because my son actually does、uh, soccer academies there.、Mm. The facility that they've got is pretty good. The jockey club supports it and、mm -hmm. sponsors it, and I think they are the best team at the moment in Hong Kong, by far. So I'm a big supporter of <coughs> Kichi. So you have played with some of those players? Honestly, no, because they're too good for me. <laughs> <laughs> they're professional, and some of them even came from. High divisions from some some other countries. So, yeah, 
But um, it's nice to follow football here as well. It's, they can put on some nice shows, and sometimes I'm there at the stadium watching my friends to play. 咁啊，雷神都講咗佢最喜歡嘅香港本地球隊咧，就係傑志。咁由香港即係賽馬會亦都有 sponsor 佢哋啦。咁亦都有好多好好嘅球員咧，就陣中嘅。咁我問啊，雷神有冇會同我哋一齊踢下波啊？咁雷神就話唔會啦，因為大家水平又唔係好一樣。咁但係我即係大家都知道，即係本地足球啊，好需要大家嘅支持。咁由雷神都好支持本地足球嘅。咁希望各位朋友咧，亦都繼續支持本地足球，亦都支持雷神啦。好啦，咁今日嘅時間咧又差唔多啦。咁就今日又好多謝雷神 ，thank you so much。唔該曬，係，都係女神嚟嚟接受我哋嘅訪問啦。咁就記住大家支持我哋，經話之石，同埋多多謝大家嘅收睇，拜拜，拜拜。